Are you a small business owner who is interested in learning how to run a balance sheet for your business using QuickBooks Online? Well, if so, then you are in the right place because in this video, I'm going to show you how to run a balance sheet. But before I get to that, I just want to introduce myself really quickly. My name is Melanie Bledsoe. I'm a CPA with the heart of a teacher. On this channel, I teach things about accounting and tax, and it's especially tailored toward the small business owner. So if you're a small business owner and you think this information would be useful to you, I would love to have you as a subscriber. And I just want to thank you in advance so much for supporting this channel. Now, let's check out the tutorial. All right, so you'll go over to reports. If it's not already saved in your favorites, then you can type in B-A-L-A -A, and it'll start to pull in balance sheet. Or you can simply scroll down to business overview and you will see the different reports here. Now keep in mind that this is the sample company. It's based off of QuickBooks Online Plus subscription. So you may not have access to all of these reports if you have a lower tier, but if you have QuickBooks Plus or above, then you should have these reports available to you. Make sure to stay to the end so that you can see these four different balance sheet reports. And if you'd like to skip around, make sure to check out the description box because I will be putting timestamps there so that you can see the different reports. So if there's a particular one that you want to watch, feel free to skip ahead. Let's check out the balance sheet first. If you haven't seen my other video about how to review a balance sheet or the basics of the balance sheet, make sure to check out that video because I explained the different aspects of this report, which I won't do in this video because it would be way too long. If you need to understand just the basics, start there and then come back here. So after watching that video, or maybe you already know, you'll understand why it's saying as of and then the date. So I'm just gonna leave this date the same for these examples, but if you ever wanna change the date, you can change the reporting period here and there are so many different options, or you can just put in the date range that you want to use. So this is just the totals, and here's what the report looks like as is, just totals as of the current date that I'm creating this video. Next, if you want to display columns, so maybe I want to display it by months, and you can always toggle between cash or accrual, depending on the accounting method of your business. Run report, and now you can see it broken out into months. And this works the same if you want to display the columns by weeks, quarters. I would recommend you would either use weeks, months, quarters, or total. Products and services, vendors, customers, it probably won't add as much value. And then I'm going to show you a different report where you can compare to um, a different year. All right, so that's all for just the basic balance sheet. I'd like to show you the next one, which would be a balance sheet summary. So as you can see, it's way more condensed. It's just showing these basic high level accounts in their different categories and then the amounts. It's not showing as much detail as the regular balance sheet was showing before. So this is a great report to provide to someone if they're just needing a really high level view of your balance sheet and they're not needing all of the details, you can give them just a summary. Next, let's check out the balance sheet detail. So this is going the other way. So you're only just looking at the period that you're running the report by and then if you're changing the accounting method. And notice too, since this is showing a lot of detail, you probably will want to have a shorter date range because as you can see, this is showing every single transaction that's happening in each category. So this can be a very extensive report this would be if someone, maybe for an audit, if they're wanting every single detail, then this is a report that you would want to provide to them. 
let's look at the balance sheet comparison. I want to spend a little bit more time here. So I'm going to keep the date range the same for now. And this is what's interesting here. So when you're comparing to another period, you can compare to the previous year or the previous period. So I'm going to show you the difference here. Whenever you select previous year, you can do the dollar change and the percentage change. Now because this is a sample company, there's not a lot of data in here for the prior year. So that's why it's showing zero. But as you can see, it's comparing 2020 and 2021. And it has a column for the dollar change and it has a column for the percentage change. Now I'm going to show you a different way to run this report. Let's say I just wanted to look at the month of March. I also want to look at the previous period. So click run and as you can see it's based on this reporting period here of what the previous period is. So if we're looking at it by month then the previous period is going to be the month and so that's why you're seeing February and it's comparing March to February. If I wanted to change this to let's say quarter, previous period would be the previous quarter and so this is showing Q1 of 2021 and it's comparing it to Q4 of 2020. And so now I'm going to show you um, if you wanted to layer the two together Let's do last month and I'm going to select previous period so that means that it's going to compare um, February and January of 2021 but I also want to see the previous year. So let's look at how that changes the report. So now you're seeing okay this is February and it's saying okay previous period PP is showing what January looked like. You have the dollar change and the percentage change. And then you can also see the comparison of February 2021 to February 2020, so previous year. And again, the dollar change and the percentage change. So this is a really, really useful report if you want to see the change over multiple periods, whether it's month, year, quarter, and it's really valuable as you are evaluating your business. So if this video was helpful to you, make sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you would subscribe or leave a comment if you have any questions or any requests for future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!